welcome in this video we're going to learn the develop the development of the truncated regular hexagon pyramids in this video we're going to make the development of this truncated hexagon pyramid but for the next video we're going to solve different questions that arise from papers and books like this and i'm going i will show you for the next videos how you can draw this you can copy this questions from the scratch but for this video we're going to develop this okay join join this point Another thing is to consider the sites which you are going to develop. The site where you are going to cut and open your pyramid. According to the questions, if you are told to open the, the certain sites between these two sites. And the development will differ. If you cut and open or you develop from these sites and if you develop in these sites. So let's start the development. We're going to consider these sites as a point, as a sites of our development. So we'll start to label number one, number two, three, after label draw the line which will be parallel to this line to touch this point Join the point of intersection with this line at the center of this hexagon. join this point in order to get the plain view you can shade
Now we're going to translate this number number one and here will be number one also the line continue up to this will be number one when you extend this line will join will touch at this point number six and extend this will touch number five it means this line is two comma five and this line also will be three comma i mean comma six six here five and this line will be four and also will it be four will it be three comma five and it will be two comma six now we are going to draw the line which will be parallel to this line to touch those point this point this point point and this And also you can label this line is number one according to this. Is it means it's done? And also this line will be number two and six. And this line will be number three and five. And this will remain number four. So you can mark this point. You can mark Let it draw first is a true shape of the section of the section at this sides and it will end up with the de development of this pyramid. So And also can label this line is number one according to this. Is it means it's done? And also this line will be number two and six. And this line will be number three and five. And this will remain number four. So we can mark this point. You can mark let it draw first is a true shape of the section of the section at this side and it will end up with the de development of this pyramid so draw the line perpendicular line Now, let use this ruler to draw parallel line. It's development. Up 
to draw this perpendicular line to this. Now draw the perpendicular line to touch. This four line at any distance. Will be number one according to this number, and this line will touch two and six, and also. number four at this point we're going to use this to get the parameter to, to draw this word true shape of the section as you know that this number one is the line pass at this point and this touch number two and six and pass at this point and this point so you can take the distance if you take a half it means that a half it means that you are going to mark a half at one side and another a half at one side that is why I'm taking a half because I equal and to obtain for this lines three and five it means there's a line here that touch this point and this point so you take this distance and you mark this side stay again mark this side number four that come from this it means touch this po no sorry this line that touch this point so no need to measure it join those point Also, we can shade end up the de development. So, we are going to develop to draw the development. Take this lens from this to this, you can press and draw an arc. At any at any area in your paper, and mark center join. one of the sides now by using this take this distance which which will be equal to those sides of your hexagon
5, 6, and return 1 because we this point we have cutting this side so number 1 will appear at this point and this point when you open let's take this diameter again so as you can extend So join those point to the center, which will be which is peak. using this take this distance from number 4 to pick or zero and stay at zero draw an arc and also at this point 3 and 5 to zero Also, at uh, take this distance from number two and six to zero. Draw an arc, and this point number one to zero. We are going to mark this first arc is from number 4 to 0. It means number 4 is here. Second arc 3 and 5. It means touch 3 and 5. Third arc, which is that one, is two and six, two and six, and the last arc, number one, which will be that is one. And here, now we're going to join this those point. Let's start. Thick line, thin line, thick line that will show your development. and also in this side because 
these sides of uh, pyramids are not in in cycle or in arc, arc form so joints those point that it means will be from this to this and this will be from this to this side And also, this line must be six. You can bold and this also the true shape of the section. This is plain views and the the development is that one that is how we can develop this truncated regular hexagon pyramid <laughs>